Mission six is completed. We have two more missions left. I was just thinking about the capital city of Germany, Berlin, and the Berlin Wall. It was built in 1961, but I thought it had been built earlier than that. I did too. I thought it had been built after World War II, when Germany was divided into two countries, East and West Germany. In 1990, I remember watching as the wall, a symbol of that division, was finally torn down. It was an emotional moment for many German people. So here we are. What do you think? Should we slip into traditional Bavarian clothing and go undercover? Sorry, Hawkins. No dirndls for me. Dresses with full skirts just aren't my style. You're welcome to try later hosen, though. I don't think they'd go well with my vest, and I might look a bit too conspicuous. Now, we need to check out that clock tower. Do you think Carmen's still there? We just need to be careful to check everything. You know what the chief says. Yeah, leave no stone unturned. Okay, let's check everything. I see the clock tower here. So let's start from the right to the left. What do we have? Aha! A suspicious old man! He must be the culprit. Guten Morgen! Good morning! How can I help you? We're wondering about the clock tower. Is there any way to... Get in? Through the door, of course. We used to have it propped open, but somebody slammed it shut. So, is there a key or something? Not a key like you're thinking of. My great-great-grandfather made that door, and he put together quite an amazing lock for it. Unfortunately, the five pieces of the lock were sold off as antiques many years ago. They're quite valuable, you know. Do you know where any of them are today? The only record I've ever found led to a collector named Annie Darby, who bought them back in 1885. She owned a hotel in Leadville, Colorado. You know, in America. Colorado? Not exactly around the corner. Carmen always does this. Leads us all over the world. Well, danke schön. Thank you so much, sir. You've been a great help. So we need to find five parts to a key to get inside this tower. This is a complicated lock. We'll need to locate all the pieces before we can fix it. Yeah, that's... That's going to be really tough. Okay, what else do we have here to check out in Germany? Ooh, what's this? When I toured Germany in college, I stayed in a pension that looked like that. Tourists come from all over the world to visit Germany's villages and take in the scenery. Neuschwanstein Castle is the most famous of the three royal palaces built for Louis II of Bavaria, Mad King Ludwig. The Protestant Reformation began in Germany in the early 16th century when Martin Luther nailed a list of religious protests to the door of Wittenberg Castle Church. I bet your database has some interesting information on the Protestant Reformation. The Bavarian Alps are a very popular winter sports region in Germany. I wouldn't mind hitting those slopes myself. Didn't you mention Carmen Sandiego coming out here to ski once, Jules? I remember reading somewhere that she was a champion skier. Apparently Carmen Sandiego does everything. What are these posters? The Toy Fair in Nuremberg is where many of the latest toys are showcased. They even have electronic toys. You should go. Very funny. It sounds like a lot of fun, actually. A lecture on the tearing down of the Berlin Wall. I wish I had time to go. Ah, oh, but sadly, I have to go to Colorado. Oktoberfest is a festival celebrating the fall season. And serving my kind of food. Cheese and pretzels. Yes, yes. And what's this? According to my briefing, this is a secret Acme field office. Okay, let's go inside. I'll go ahead and give the secret knock. The chief thought they might have something for us. Whoa! Yeehaw! An Acme grapple launcher! I used one of these in training. Oh, you're going to love it. Be still, my beating heart. One more thing to carry that we'll probably never need. Just you wait and see. I'm sure we'll use it, eventually. A grapple launcher. Wow, yeah, I can get somewhere that's very high up. Like, maybe inside the clock tower? 
No, 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 that's ridiculous. Let's go to Colorado, which is in the United States of America. Have you ever visited the Grand Canyon? I went there once as a child. It's pretty spectacular. Well, it says here that it's ranked as one of the seven natural wonders of the world. I'm not surprised. It's very grand. The Hotel Darby. Every time I come to Colorado, I'm struck by how huge the Rocky Mountains are. Don't think I would have hiked across the Appalachian Mountains and the Great Plains to mine silver here. The first pioneers that headed west sure were tough. Yeah, they were some rugged folks. Okay, so let's talk to this woman. We've got lots of interesting stuff to see here in the Darby Hotel. Feel free to look around. Okay, I will. Hmm, what's this? That's a photo of Mount McKinley in Alaska. It's the highest point in the United States, 20,230 feet. I've tried climbing it, but we were forced back by bad weather. I believe most people call it Mount Denali today. A German cuckoo clock. Hmm, I wonder if it was made in that Bavarian village. Could be. The owner must have been quite a world traveler. That's Petra, the ancient city in Jordan, carved out of solid rock. I remember Carmen saying that she worked there on an archaeological dig, back before she joined Acme. Hmm, interesting. Well, what about these pictures? The bald eagle is the national bird of the United States. Chief Joseph was the famous leader of the Nez Perce people. When the United States government insisted that they leave their lands to allow white settlers to move in, he courageously resisted their demands. Yep, he didn't put up with white people trying to take over his land. That's Uluru, in the Australian outback. That's one of my favorite paintings, Washington crossing the Delaware in 1776, said to be the turning point in the American Revolution. And he did it all without any electronic gadgets. Amazing. He was quite a fantastic gentleman. Not using a cell phone. Okay, what about these things? That's a mola from Panama. The Kuna Indians are famous for this type of embroidery. So what's it doing in a hotel in Colorado? It was left in a room upstairs. I tried contacting the person who stayed there, but the phone number had been disconnected. Hmm. Is there anything else we can look at here? Well, gee, I don't know what we're supposed to be doing now. Those are the tools of the mining trade. Hard work. Often heartbreaking, not to mention dangerous, but occasionally folks made it big. Like the family that built this hotel. We've got lots of interesting stuff to see here in the Darby Hotel. Feel free to look around. Yeah, but I mean, hmm, I don't think we found any clues. At least the big clue we came here to find. There are all kinds of folks staying here right now. Check out our guest book. Hmm, where's the guest book? Hey Hawkins, check this out. Look at this name in the guest book. Diane Goss from Irma, N.C. N.C.? That's North Carolina, right? But I've never heard of a town called Irma in North Carolina. That's because there isn't one. Look, rearrange the letters in Irma, N.C., and you get Carmen. And Diane Goss rearranged is San Diego. Do you remember this woman? Oh, sure. Diane Goss? She is really something. Insisted on staying in Annie Darby's room. You know, the room we recently opened? See, Annie built this hotel, a real colorful character. She traveled all over the world collecting stuff. Check out her room if you like, it's a trip. Here's the key, up the stairs and straight ahead. Can't miss it. You're just gonna give us the key to the room that somebody's staying in. What kind of hotel is this? How odd. All right, let's 